Jays calling on the Rays. Chris Archer, Kevin Kiermeyer getting all set for this one. But in the second, Archer had to deal with Jose Bautista with a man on. This one headed toward the corner. Jennings runs out of room and it's gone. And Bautista with his fifth home run of the year makes it two to nothing. So two and two to count, two outs, runner at second base. Here's a swing and a line drive base at the center field. Here comes Kiermaier around third. Pilar comes up with it and then bobbles it. The throw is going to come into second base as Forsythe will get in there safely. It's two to one. Goins out on strikes and it's a one, two, three inning. And he strikes him out. The 90s fastball totally is the first out. It's out on strikes. Four strikeouts for Archer, and three of them have come in the last three hitters. Evan Longoria leading off the bottom of the sixth. Sends one to right field. Bautista will have to go back. There's some carry on this one. Gone! Home run for Evan Longoria. He sent Bautista to the wall, and this game is tied. Casale sets up inside. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Here's a swing and a drive to the gap in left center field and deep. Kiermaier going back, and he is going to run out of room as that one lands in Duckies. Kevin Pillar with his first home run of the season, and he gives the Blue Jays a 3-2 lead. 100 pitches tonight for half. High shot back into straightaway center. Does it have enough? Yes! Home run to center for Forsyth, and the game is tied. All set, 3-1 count to Kurt Casale. Kurt Casale plays the hero as the Rays walk off 4-3 winners. He gets the ice bath in celebration. Blue Jays bullpen falters again. Brett Cecil now 0-5 on the season. Jay Happ struck out 7-6 and six and 2 thirds. Didn't factor in the decision. Chris Archer gave up two earned runs in six innings of work. Sunday's rubber game features Marcus Stroman for the Jays against Jake Odorizzi for Tampa Bay.